Hey, it's Pierre. I got a uh, treat today. It's <clears throat> these are the four new Dunlop Precision rackets that are coming out in 2016, um, and I've been testing them and want to let you know how they play. Uh, thanks to Phil from Dunlop for sending me these frames to review for you guys. Um, so these are their their new cosmetics of four um, that have been in the Dunlop range for a while now. Uh, and I'm going to take you through them. So, first of all, we have the um, first of all, we have the Dunlop Precision Pro 130. This replaces the Biomimetic Pro 130. Uh, it has, as far as I can see, the same um, same head shape, stringing pattern, um, and really, uh, it's an updated cosmetic. I'm going to do individual videos. For these rackets uh, this is just going to be kind of a quick run through so this one the 130 and the 140 have slightly smaller head shape than the other two and they have a they have the same head shape as each other the 130 and 140 and it's it's the smaller it's it's smaller than the, the head shape of these other two I'll tell you about in a second um, and same stringing pattern the real difference is that the 140 I weighed it on my scale and the 140 is, it doesn't feel 10 grams heavier, it's more just that it's a little bit more in the head, I would say. Um, so these are very good um, control rackets. That smaller head shape um, just means that you, you're going to, um, uh, you're going to have a little bit less power because the strings aren't going to rebound as far, but you're going to, it's, but you're going to feel the ball a little bit better because it's going to be kind of a more compact sweet spot, and um, and there isn't going to be as much um, as much you know kind of variability uh, with, because of the smaller head size. Um, the frames are not particularly stiff. They're um, uh, the opposite of stiff, and um, and this the 130 used to be one of my favorites, uh, so it was good to be to be hitting with this again. Although um, I actually, I guess maybe just because I've gotten older and I'm, I don't hit, I swing as, as hard as maybe I used to. I found it a little tr a trouble. Uh, I had some trouble getting enough power with this guy this time around. So of these two. I preferred the uh, 140. Like I said, it wasn't really much heavier. It was just just a bit more weight in the head, so I, um, it gave me a bit uh, it gave me a bit more uh, ability to carve my shot out. And and I, I had a slight preference for the 140 this time around. Um, but the one that I like the most is actually one of these two. Um, so these are first of all. I'll show you the difference in the head shape. The green one here is called the Elite, the Precision Dunlop Precision Elite, and you can see that it is about you know fingers length um, longer frame here, and you know it's still got the traditional head shape, um, same width and everything, but uh, but it's just got a little bit longer string bed, which um, which I think gives you a little bit more power. Um, there's more bounce in the string bed, and I was uh, definitely um, taking advantage of that with my weak arms. Um, and my favorite of these two, okay, th this one's called the Dunlop Precision Ultimate, the yellow one, and this one's called the Dunlop Precision Elite. Um, these both, the, the Ultimate and Elite, have been around for several years, and these have this, these two have the same um, frame shape. It's just that the ultimate has a, a bit more of a dense stringing pattern. The elite has has a, a, a few less um, uh, crosses and mains. The ultimate is 16 by 19, and the elite is 14 by 18. So anyway, the, with a little bit more string in the head in the head of this one, it gives it a, a feeling of a bit more weight in the head just from the weight of the string um, and I feel like uh, I, you know with less string I guess in theory you can you can 
move the racket through the air faster, you get a little bit more racket head speed. Um, so if you like to have kind of a game of holds and, and quick moves, this might be um, more up your alley. But for me, the ultimate was was my favorite of the four, and and one that that I hadn't really you know used that much in the past in prior models, but I really came out liking this one the best. Uh, it had a nice, gave me a little bit extra power with the longer um, with the the um, the longer head shape, but I still got that feeling of control from the the more um, the, the extra density of the stringy pattern, both because of the extra weight in the head, just to help me kind of guide my shots through, and also just I personally like that feeling of of having a bit more um, a bit more kind of grip on the ball uh, when the when the strings are a bit tighter together. And I guess you could say 130 and 140 have about a similar kind of density, I, I guess, of a stringy pattern. But I just I liked. The um, that little extra length in the head on this one to um, to give me a little bit extra power. So these are again the Dunlop Precision range. This is these four rackets are new from Dunlop for 2016. Um, and uh, so you, we'll, we'll start seeing these come out uh, over the next month or two. Um, and I uh, hope you check them out. Enjoy. Thanks.